Rules by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a donut shape in a number of ways. Now, first way I did it, just quickly go over here to the Polar Grid tool, just select that and double click. And what you come up with the concentric dividers and radial dividers. To get a donut, just set it to one, click OK, and then just add the donut there. Now you've got the basic donut shape. Actually, what you can do if you actually go to the fill, you can see that the design is just actually just two circles so you just go over here exclude and you've got the donut shape now you can't modify the actual distance so an easy way but that's obviously a really nice donut as well perfectly decent you could fill that with uh, lots of sugar sprinkles or whatever now go over here to the ellipse tool and you can just drag that out and you can just change make another circle and then just select both just go over here to the horizontal and vertical line so you've got them so it's a nice central so obviously it's a nice donut shape and you can again exclude so you've got that design you can do of course just select another ellipse and you can create a slightly thinner by using the same technique just vertical and horizontal and exclude there okay there is actually a tool that uh, can create donuts and dynamic donuts at that and that can be found over here and dynamic shapes so you can just select that now you'll notice over here you've got a dynamic shapes palette that appears now this is from Stute graphics great company creates mirror me and many other tools and there's a donut option here they've got the usual standard shapes here we've got star etc but you've got a donut as well now, what you can just do, just quickly go over here and just drag that out, and you've got the donut. You can modify a number of segments, so you can just add a few more points. You can see the points increase around there. Also, you can modify the actual distance. So, I'm just going to set that to uh, 1000, so you can see that change. Also, you can modify the inner part, so you say you set 20, so you make it zoom down like that and I'm just going to go a thousand and four hundred so you can just change it that's the key thing just break that bond otherwise it will just uh, not uh, resize particularly well so that's the key thing here so just you can change it so now at this point now now that's been broken just go say 200 so you can get a thinner wider maybe 800 change that to now there's also another options which you can't do with the other features that i just showed the polar grid and the circle and that's the little pie slice feature and you can just modify over here you actually select just that bit there the red and then modify move that around and then you can get a gap between the slice now i don't want that but so i can go back you can modify that by this part of the panel hit down here also modify a few other settings now that's it quick way of creating donuts in i'm certain there's probably a few others as well in illustrator hope you found this of interest thank you much